This is Breakfast with Kim Mothershaw and Mary Collier. 18 minutes past six. Are you a music buff who loves collecting and listening to music but uh, don't play an instrument or have any musical ability? That's me, That's Kim. That's me and me too. Sorry. Yeah. Well, Greatest I... regret I have, not learning a musical instrument. And I've been meaning to do it every year for the last... So many years. Well, I did try to learn a few instruments over time. I failed grade one piano, the the, the first sort of Gee. exam I had to go for. Gee, that's Chastised bad. and scarred so badly by oh. my piano teacher who said I was the only student she had ever prepared for an AMEB exam who failed. Oh, man. So I was thrown on the scrap heap very early. <laughs> Did you think of playing the triangle after that? <laughs> Just to, so you didn't lose all your confidence? More a maracas kind of gal. <laughs> <laughs> but there is an organisation in Brisbane where us musically inclined but untalented people can go. It's called Musically Speaking and Gabrielle Burke's been out to visit them. Good morning, Gabby. Good morning, Mary and Kim. It's funny you talk about uh, learning those musical instruments. I, I do a mean session on the recorder and that's about it. Really? So yeah. you can play the recorder well? Terribly, terribly so. Not well, just that that's, that's all I can do. And maybe bang a few notes out on the glockenspiel. Uh, I also, yes, was told to step outside from grade eight music class. I wasn't oh, allowed back in. Sad. <laughs> a teacher threw a music stand at me in grade eight. Oh, music stand. Oh. So I failed grade one piano when I was about six. Oh, and I might have been about eight. And then a teacher threw a music stand at me. I was very disruptive in music class. I don't think they're allowed to do that anymore. Well, back in my day. I had nuns. <laughs> back in the day. Let's get back to Musically Speaking, though. Uh, yes. I, now, this is a group that Mary, you and Peter spoke to about two years ago. They're called Musically Speaking. They're a community group and they get together and they share their musical gems from their own collections and they learn about other people's as well. So basically, uh, it's for people who love music but don't really read, write or play. Um, and each week they have a theme. They come along and they speak on a particular theme. So some of the themes are things like music at the movies, family favourites. They've got a theme going at the moment over a series of weeks called Something Old, Something New, Something Borrowed and Something Blue. Uh, Now, you prepare a presentation and you present it to the group. And I spoke to Peter Geisman, who uh, runs the the group. They run it from Mount Gravatt Library, and he's uh, here to tell us what it's all about. We started two years ago, and essentially... The uh, idea germinated from a discussion of Robbie and myself. That's Robbie's my wife. We just wanted to be able to come up with a facility to share the gems in our music collection because uh, I, in particular, love discovering new music. So I thought, well, why not create our own vehicle? So that's what uh, we did. We thought of the idea for the club and with the mission being to share the gems in your music collection and discover new ones. Actually, there's a lot more being achieved as well. People are actually learning a bit of technology. And I've set up instructional videos on our website. So people who have no technological background at all, who barely know how to turn a computer on, can now put their own slideshows together. And also they're finding that they've got a use for their computer rather than just their emails and the occasional web search. Now they're looking up uh, information for their presentations. And then that's not all. Because you have to stand up and deliver your presentation in front of a group of people, you're learning some public speaking and presentation skills. So people are really benefiting from that. And there's been significant improvements in people's uh, presentations and their public speaking skills and the confidence. And it's really fantastic. So from all those levels, we've achieved a lot. We've started our Thursday club but we also would like to create clubs all over Brisbane and further afield. But uh, we're certainly looking for people who are keen to either join a club or be a part of creating a new one. I remember when Pete and I first spoke to to Peter, that um, thinking it was such a good idea, but not knowing if there'd be enough interest to sustain it over the long term. But he's clearly branched out, Gabrielle, and you know it sounds fantastic. That's right. So they started off with just a one Tuesday night at once a you know once a month, and now it's they do two sessions, and uh, they um, they're hoping to to branch out and do a lot more. And they've just celebrated only a few weeks ago their fiftieth meeting since uh, talking to uh, Peter and Mary only two years ago. So yeah, it, it, it's it's nice when people get a community group together and then people respond to that and they're really passionate about it. 